ఇంతవరకు చెప్పినది ఆన్సర్స్ టు రమణస్ క్వశ్చన్ ఆర్ లెవెన్త్ సెప్టెంబర్ నైన్టీన్ నైన్టీ నైన్ బృందపట్నం మాధవాదిరెడ్డి బటన్ బాల్ బటన్ బాల్ 
and i also in very shortly discuss the two day situation i think i want to follow him and look like a mad man with that uh, and all the little big kungo and the base with the trishul and the water it is why should i mean how can you even brand me as a mad fellow how do you mean how do you know my conscience my mind my guilt i get to me what is meaning he is it that is the feel of the society to brand them as a certain video photograph that each of them take the next junk that's a good just to suppose a man is a big suit and is speaking with him that is kind of that's what you need to do what do you know about it is it a crime yes the other man is a mad with love of god no Because when you know, it's certainly civilization, norms of civilization are not to be uh, defined yeah. by political leaders or intellectuals. No. What do God know? What is lack of civilization? Yes. If that man is not moving naked on the main road, it is even the man with love of God, but he is Why do you think the norms of social, social norms? But even then he was taken as a god. I think the song we did sing, Kachi. This is a country in which a naked man is in the dead. Why do you think the norms of social norms? Why do you think the norms of social norms? Why do you think the norms of social norms? He was taken as a god in this country. That is our psyche. Unless a man is interpreting on social behavior. Unless even he, even he, has to be accepted. He could be by it is pardon that he may be in the world. How do you know that man? If you think it's a bad man, go to the asylum. If you think he's a guy, you watch it. If you think he's nobody, a beggar, a mad beggar, you know him. So this is a country which has always accepted any form of, any form of human behavior. All the wide gamut of human behavior has been given a proper place in the rich. But is this a country like this? Yes, there are some naked fathers. There are some fathers with the Trishulam. There are some fathers with the Jata and other things, naked haters. So they, they don't look normal to you. But your normality not, is acquired from your knowledge of the Western culture. That does not hold good here. That is not the norms of this civilized society. This society has defined each individual in a different way all along. This society has accepted the Digambar Sanyasis, Sadhus, Naked Sadhus, as mendicants, ascetics, holy men. That has been the norm. A beggar has not been looked upon as a Sadhu, has not been looked upon as an ideal fellow who is not working hard. And he is depending on the parasite. He is not really that parasite. A man with a pair of legs and legging two rotis in, in a small village. He is not doing much of us. God, so do you know this? You are authorized to condemn him as a burden to the society. How do you know about it? This is a society in which the norms of social behavior, civilization are totally different from those. Applied in other societies and other countries. What does mean the brigade? We have our own. Yes. Yes. According to what norms are we judging these people? Hinduism. How do you know anything about Hinduism? Agarwal and Hindu are somebody who is certainly not competent to say something about Hinduism. If those Hindus are involved in, in unsocial activity, unlawful activity, violation, violating the law of the land, by any harm, harming anyone, they can be condemned. Otherwise, you should have condemned the converting missionaries, the people who are involved in the culture of the land, heritage of the land, when you don't have a word to say against it. So this is how dharma is being interfered with. Interference of dharma, bringing people away from the path of dharma into ignorant paths, which are What, not what calling religion set up. There are no contents of anything that are necessary in the ingredients of religion. 
you have been wounded, insulted. Huh? So today, our power has to deal with this serious situation in a manner that drives home a very serious truth into the mind of the offender. Offender fools are a dozen varieties. This is an Arctic, there is an anti Hindu, there is pseudo intellectuals. So, and the converting missionaries. How many people are offenders? This country is not a god with full offenders. Archasas. Archasas. These are the modern models of Archasas. There is some someone who is tackling these problems. These people in their appropriate manner. And also uplifted the dignity of this path, ancient path. And correct it where necessary. Encourage it where it's very well appropriate. And let it where it is necessary. Reform it where it is called for. All these things have to be done. Example model is Krishna Avatar. He had a different solution to every kind of man. He had his own solution to Sishupala. He had his own solution to uh, Kamsa. He had his own solution to Putana. He had his own solution to somebody else, somebody else, that's why he said. If one person who had a hundred solutions to hundred varieties of the problems in human society is out there. Right from the immediate destruction to immediate upliftment to the Agutta. Both simultaneously. That is a matter. Let us model anyone as that. That is not a only explain it. Just I made it a gist of it. No. No, certainly, I am not to you, I am not learning, learning to you, but I have, that is, does not, is, see, a swallow does not take a summer. Really? The sun makes one. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is, that is, no, I am, see, when somebody worships someone in the water, you see, Trishis, Mahasis, Mahayogis, Mahadhyanis, Brahmadhyanis, have been, have walked on this soil in India. Not now, but several million years. Tens of thousands of years has been the tradition. Today they are, they are, they are, they are going to be yesterday, tomorrow, they will be yesterday, they will be tomorrow. The same, with the same consistency. The one who is an old one that, who does not believe in mincing, that is, that is a very great man, a Mahayogi, but same in faith. That is not, which is not necessary for anyone, we can learn it. So, these are all some of the ideas of critics. But if, um, how to categorize someone, even a Mahayogi, or Mahajani, or Tapachi, or Vera, or Vatishta, or Vatishta. For example, Buddha is an author. But you know, when Krishna is an author, even Brahma is an author, even Brahma is an author, even Brahma is an author. And uh, so he is an author. He gave a new interpretation to the intention of the God in giving us these basic values of Ahimsa, Vairagya, Moksha, Ichcha, then Rakshatan, and Shuddhi of the Jiva, Shuddhatma. These things are very ancient ingredients of our culture. He lifted them and he walked in from the karmic mass. <laughs> the mass that angered them. It has been moved. He has lifted them. He has been moved. He has been moved past for us. Do not bother about the karma, he is being well and happy to all about it. But I tell you, he has to get to be a shaka. Krishna himself has it. And quote in Krishna has it. Chene bhune machilo ke nisati. All in a mood of being hundred asanas would become Indra Amat. He can be. He can be the downfall. In a case of sin. So we look at these things. We don't indulge in the karma. Indulge in the karma is fallacious. Ask for the jnana and moksha. That is said. Because the future of this study is the rest of the Kaliyam that is yet to pass is no time, no, it has no place for this ignorance and these things. 
Hal hulun bunsa Uman And the same category They are all in the, the same way In Kali Without any category So That is the part Of one another So That way They have given a new Test New direction to this Want it Need it Very clear So that is not that So that has Dealt with All the categories Of the previous Hindu society. In society, you see, like Rajiv Rasimhaswami, Rasimhaswami described one man and answered many questions. But the presence of God is answered. His power to destroy the evil is answered. To protect the righteous and devotees is answered. His availability anywhere is answered. Invisible availability is proven. So, so many questions are How many? How many questions are in one job? That is why even Buddha Avatar and Rama Avatar are categorized, Parasurama, they are categorized as quarter or half. Krishna Avatar alone is full Avatar. That is category given to him. Sampurna Amsha or Purna Avatar. Otherwise, Amsha can always be there. It can be Jnana Amsha, one can be Karma Amsha, one can be Prabhupada, Sutra, Strength. That Amsha is really like Parasurama. So, Amsha is only a fraction. Amsha means fraction. There is no fraction in your question. That is why I want you to understand, you can, we, I can worship, I am prepared to worship any man, but that particular Amsha, or that particular category, class. Plus that, even that particular class, they have to be worshipped and followed. It is no less, but Avatar is different. We have, this is a kind of an understanding, it is a clarification. That's what I want. That was what I want. The last sentence I didn't follow this. And the part of worship that particular thing. Uh, that particular amsha. That was the aspect of God. That aspect of God. That aspect of God. So where is Vairagya? Vairagya is also one of the... So God is different. Not just different. Comprehensive. Comprehensive. To that time, to that time, how long did Narasimha Swami stay on the earth? How long did he stay on the earth? Did he take? He did not take more than 15 minutes to destroy one earth. No, he left. He left. He disappeared. Still, he lives there. So, Sabdur Nafatara is one thing. And we worship. Because when we say something about uh, Avatar, unless we understand the meaning and full import of it, we will not be able to understand the difference between Avatar and an Ausha, or a Jnani, or Mahatma, Mahayogi, Mahapurusha, Yoga Purusha, or Mahapurimati, Mahapandita. These are all categories. All of them are. What they worship, no doubt about it. We will follow it understanding. So that if when we say this is an author, we are stopping there. We have to go proceed further. These are holy temples on the path to renunciation to reach God. All these personalities are holy temples on the road, on, on your road. Every God has to be. You have to enter the temple, you have to touch. Every thing has to be worshipped. But proceed to the, to reach the ultimate Godhead, which is all conscious, all inclusive. There is no mm. element that is necessary for the creation, which is excluded there. Mm. If it is necessary, if something is necessary, but this, for the run of the administration of this creation, that is found there. So, all inclusive. All inclusive, that is all. And all because there is no, nothing like God actually. God is an author of all truths combined. It's a truth entity, two truths. Avatar is manifestation of the truth. That's it. Mm-hmm. Making himself, making itself visible. Yes. Who becomes he? Inside. That is how, without any. Even though the Krishna is only in England's path of faith, that is not the Christian. It is only depending on what that is. What it is. 
Till now, the Dharma Glani was a brute force approach. They threw water into the home and all that. Today, it is through constitution, through press, the kind of a damage done in uh, which can go on forever. So again, to antidote it, the avatar has to take on in the same path to nullify. The same for 1,000 years, brute force has destroyed your culture, your civilization, your faith, your path, your heritage, your philosophy also, your society, and your religion is totally accepted. Your philosophy is thrown to the means as not acceptable. Still, we say we want to honor him as a teacher, as our brother and all that. Is it necessary? And reject him, reject his very attitude and tolerate his presence, try to reform him. Solve the question in the society of India. Approach. That is one thing. Instead of that, accepting him as your trying to forget the harm done, accepting his attitude to you is wrong on you. Accepting him is different. Accepting his attitude is different. We have no bones about it. When you have accepted his criticism, accepted his rejection of your faith, Amen. I mean, what is left in you? Are you faithful to your path or faithful to the enemy of your path? It's a straight question. That is not tolerance. Tolerance is his presence is being tolerated in spite of rejecting his faith. That necessity that behoves us to express ourselves. I am writing these things, whether it is Telugu or English, I am straight away writing these things. They have destroyed this culture. They have but yeah, their presence have to be has to be tolerated. I am saying. I have never said that their attitude should be tolerated. Is there no difference between these two? I am not asking you to go and destroy them. But reject his attitude to you. Tolerate his presence. Bring him to senses. Make him happy. If you are a politician, if you are a preacher, do something about it. Ah, be bold to say this much. I will not accept nothing to it. I, can, I cannot accept the history as something tolerable, something to be forgotten. And how is not possible? I am not, I don't know, even as a human being, believer in Ahimsa. I am an absolute follower of principle of Ahimsa. But then, Happily, Ahimsa has application, appropriate application. I am not able to accept it. It is hypocrisy. Your inner voice says something, your voice says something else. But it does not solve the problem. So I call upon all the spiritual leaders today to say this in clear terms. I am not prepared to forget the harm done. I cannot agree with the Muslim hatred of Hinduism. I will not accept him as someone whose attitude is tolerable. His attitude is not tolerable to the Hindu. But I call upon Hindus to tolerate their presence. Deal with them from the position of strength without touching their skin. Teach them a lesson, bring them down to brotherhood, tolerate them. Do not destroy them, do not fight with them. Position, you deal with them from the position of strength. Not giving in, not admitting him into our society and behaving as though you have immense respect for him. If you don't believe that. These spiritual leaders have to behose them, it is necessary for them. Because in thousands, Maybe even hundreds of spiritual leaders are there, yogis here, Baba is here, they are accepted as God. They are their followers. But they are not God to those who don't follow them. Author is different. It proves itself. 
You don't have to prove him to your devotee that you are God. You don't have to prove to your disciple that you are God. This one, the other. You have to blame others. Those who don't accept you, they will be part of the acceptance. So this attitude, I think I am somewhat clear. So I, my anxiety is all spiritual leaders. A Mahayogi, a Baba. It is very correct for him if he says, Muslims' action should be condemned. Today they are our leaders. They are said, hold up in our mother's head. They share the waters of Ganga, Yamuna and Godavari with us. But I call upon them. This position that they have been offered, but they have earned for themselves, even by violence, should be retained by non-violence. This position that they have earned by true violence should be retained by non-violence. So I call upon the Hindus to treat them as tolerable, tolerable brothers, forgetting their mistakes of, the, of yesterday. But do not accept, I don't call upon the Hindus to accept their attitude to Hinduism. Big difference is it? Huge difference. Very huge Yes. Certainly, they are an brother. Mm. We have younger brother. He is spite. Only one. But we have the Hindu brother, but he has, he finds place in your house, he eats on your table. He is an errant brother. Would be indisciplined. You don't kill him, you don't destroy him. He is your brother. You don't, ultimately when he is prepared to be reformed, you are happy, you embrace him. That should be the attitude. But rather than this, doing this, insulting Hinduism all the time, saying no one about it, by doing this kind, this kind of hypocrisy, that is the attitude is very much worse. The father is great Hindus and great yogis. Jnani Sarvyani, Rambutani, Kakantani, great colors in Vedas and Shantras, they have their own place. Great diamonds who have performed exams, they have their own place. It's a very huge auditorium. Mm -hmm. Everyone has their own place. All these put together with honesty and boldness of expression, plus something else, will become an author. <laughs> Huh? Uh, I used to see in the paper, uh, people wanted the Chaturdashi procession to be postponed. Those people in Hyderabad said no doing. It comes on a Friday. Mm -hmm. The police requested. They said no. If the sanctity will be lost, you make whatever arrangements you, you want. It's your problem. You are not going to change. It's very stupid even to request them to do that, sir. Why, why don't you request these people? You are doing it every Friday. Why don't you postpone it one Friday? <laughs> 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 this comes on the day. They yes. try to do it. There are 56 Fridays in a year. <laughs> exactly. Because it's only on one Friday it is. In fact, it was, it's a problem. When I was also uh, involved in solving this problem at one time, it happened when I was in service. There was a committee. I was also um, uh, representing the IT administration on that day in that meeting. I said that no, they should be, the, uh, the procession should be di di diverted. That, that way, this way, through the Gali and all that. What is this? One Friday can't be Muslims are obliged, they said. <laughs> it, it, it came on a Friday. On one Friday, if Muslim brothers are not prepared to oblige the Hindus, certainly the, the Hindus are very correct, very right, they have a right to insist on. It's our business and not the Hindus. Like you say, it would have been a simple question huh? asking them to oblige. One Friday, I was in the office. The officials, I think, if they make it an open this thing, if the Muslims will oblige, it will be like this. This will volunteer, they can say, no. Unpleased. Officials are not even prepared to request the Muslims. Yes, sir, they should request the Muslims. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In Parko Chitrangi, 14th September 1999, Ravan's house, J.H. Sushans.